Good morning, people watching Miss 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, future sins, was buried and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4 is the basis. That's the gospel. That's where our faith lies. That's why we're saved. It is through the spilled blood of Jesus Christ that we're saved. No other way. We don't come to him no other way. Um, it's grace through faith in Christ alone. Yeah. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It's grace that God, like I said, God gave his only begotten son to whosoever. Key word is believe. Once we accept Christ as Savior, the Holy Spirit indwells in us and leads us to righteousness. We're no longer what we used to be, but we're now a child of God. You will never lose your salvation once you accept Christ as Savior. It's with the heart that man believes. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Period. I got to give you this. These earthquakes, I spoke on it last night about these earthquakes. Um, about, I say about 20 minutes ago, New Zealand just had a 7.3. These quakes are getting stronger. They're urging people in New Zealand to move the higher ground right now. It's a tsunami warning in effect. Um, strong quake has rocked the eastern coast of New Zealand, North Island, the European Mediterranean Seismological Center has confirmed prompting an official warning telling people to move to higher ground now. Um, the civil defense told anyone unable to get to higher point to move as far inland as possible. The earthquake of a preliminary magnitude of 7.3 has sparked a tsunami warning in the region, according to the United States Geological Survey. Shocked witnesses told to social media to describe their panic. One person living in the lower hut suburb of Pantone in the North Island said medium shake that kept rolling for a while. Woke us up. Excuse that. That's the, dump, the um, trash truck. And a person living in Wellington said to shake, the shake woke him up. The quake hit 2.27 a.m. local time Friday morning, 1.27 p.m. Thursday in the U.K. And like I said, about uh, 10 or 15 minutes ago here, the country's civil defense body, the National Emergency Management Agency, issued a alert urging people living in coastal communities to move to higher ground. They said we are assessing weather, um, the uh, weather east of North Island, New Zealand. It could have, uh, and it could affect, a tsunami could affect New Zealand. We will provide an update as soon as the initial assessment has been completed. Anyone near the coast who felt a long or strong quake should move immediately to the nearest highest ground or as far inland as you can. So, um, you know, things are happening. Things are being shaken up. Things are... <laughs> I can't put it no, no other way. I mean, there is no other way to put this. God is shaking, and God is getting ready to perform in a way in which the world has not seen and in a way in which the church is ready for. I think that's the best way to put it. Um, they're taking off. I'm looking at this news, and it's flabbergasting. I mean... You got all these earthquakes to shake people up. And I think the left thinks that if they take books like Dr. Seuss off the shelf, they think things will get better. 
Seriously? Things are not going to get any better. There's not a revival coming. I'm just being honest. Things are not going to get any better. Things are going to get far, far worse. And what's going to happen is like I keep saying, and I will reiterate this, the church is going to be gone. The church is going to be gone. And those of you left behind playing patty cake with God, wondering, well, let me see if it's going to uh, happen or not. I'll take my chances. You do that because you're headed for a world that is going to be a hell on earth. And nine times out of ten, those very people who are saying, oh, I'll wait to see what's going to happen, they're going to die. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Quit playing with God and quit mocking him and get saved for real. For with the heart man believes and with the mouth Confession is made unto salvation. This is not the time to be playing with God. This isn't even the time to wonder if you're saved. Because if you have to wonder, wow, I hope I'm saved, I hope you better know that you're saved. And that's through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. I'm just saying. Rely on the Holy Spirit. Trust God. Because the church is about to take off. I cannot, I, 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 I can't see us being here much longer. I really don't. You got the far left talking about Dr. Seuss books and Amazon logos. It's so pathetic, it's not worth reporting. It really isn't. I'm going to link this article in the description box. I got some articles on my blog as well. Um, don't forget to go there. I'm still logging on the blog. Uh, when I put stuff on um, Rumble, I will continue to link it in, in, in the, the description box to let you know that it's there. But um, I put controversial stuff on Rumble. Um, sometimes I will link a video or two over there, but um, I'm still logging a lot of posts on my blog. It's watchwoman65.com. Um, I, again, thank you for your support, and I thank you for your prayers. I thank you for everything. Samson and Delilah had to go to the vet yesterday to get their shots, and they're not feeling good today at all. They're not eating and the vet said that it's normal after they have their vaccine. So, there you go. But anyway, I'm going to leave this in the description box and I'll be back with more. But folks, a lot of this stuff that they're reporting, like Dr. Seuss, or they're, taking, they're pulling all the Dr. Seuss books. They're pulling off all the, uh, they're calling um, the states who are opening up 100%. Um, crazy, which I don't think it is, but you know, there's so much happening and some of it is newsworthy and some of it is not. It's so much happening that it's not a surprise because like I said, all of this is supposed to happen. That's happening now. to come to pass so we can get out of here. But I pray for these people in New Zealand because that was that's a pretty big earthquake right there. I will be back later and like I said I have more articles on my blog that you can see that I can't go over here on this platform. And I will be back later with more. I'm sure there's more and more earthquakes. I mean, the earthquake, if you look at it, the earthquake menu is going off the chain. And I mean, these are major earthquakes. I mean, like yesterday, there were several major earthquakes that hit, some in Russia. So 
I really believe we're on borrowed time. And we're definitely at the point of no return. That's just it. I'll be back later. Thank you.